All right, Matrix and Roadshow fans, I'm absolutely shocked that I'm making this video. I found out about about this Alec Baldwin situation early this morning when I woke up and I saw videos uh, pop up, notifications pop up on YouTube that Alec Baldwin had shot and killed a, if I'm not mistaken, a cinematographer on set and the director was injured. I mean, my mind is just blown by that. I mean, I haven't heard anything like this since Brandon Crow died on a set of um, or Brandon Lee, I should say, getting shot on a set of The Crow back in 1993. This is just wild, guys. I mean, completely wild. I feel bad for everybody involved in this, including Alec Baldwin, and we know that Alec Baldwin has said some really, really crazy stuff, but I wouldn't work, wish this on my worst enemy. I would not. I mean, I really do feel for Alec Baldwin. I feel for uh, the family that lost their uh, the mother, the wife. I couldn't imagine going through this. OK. But um, we got some details here. 911 call reveals details about Alec Baldwin's onset accident. Quote, we need help immediately. And it says uh, the caller who identified herself as the script supervisor said that the crew was rehearsing a scene when the gun discharged. Because when I heard this, I was like, how is it that he actually shot the cinematographer and the director? I guess we're going to get a little bit of clarification here. It says more details are emerging about the tragic accident. On the New Mexico set of Alec Baldwin's upcoming Western film, when his prop gun misfired, accidentally killing the film's cinematographer and injuring the director. Now, from what I understand about the director, the director initially was in serious condition, but now I heard that the director now has been discharged from the hospital, so the director is going to be doing okay. In the audio of the 911 call obtained by TMZ, the caller who identified herself as the script supervisor explained that the crew had been rehearsing a scene when the gun discharged. Quote, we have two people accidentally shot on a movie set by a prop gun, she told the operator. We need help immediately. She then added, after the gun misfired, we all ran out. Asked if the gun was loaded with a real bullet. The script supervisor said she didn't know. She said that Hutchins and Sousa, that's the cinematographer and the, the director, were doubled over when she last saw them, but she did not have any information about the extent of the injuries. Soon after, another person to took over the call. He told the operator that Hutchins and Sousa were alert following the shooting and that a set medic was assessing them. The audio reveals, and I believe here on the right, that is um, Miss Hutchins right there. And of course, that's Alec Baldwin here on the left. Authorities responded to the 911, responded to the incident, I should say, around 1.50 p.m. local time, following 911 calls indicating an individual had been shot on set. The Santa Fe Sheriff's Department wrote in a press release obtained by the people. Upon further investigation, the sheriff's department learned that Hutchins, 42, and Souza, 48, were shot when a prop when a prop firearm was discharged by Baldwin, 63. Hutchins was airlifted to University of New Mexico Hospital, where she died from injuries, according to the sheriff's department. Souza was undergoing treatment for his injuries at Crystal St. Vincent's Hospital on Thursday night, officials said. On Friday, his reps confirmed that to deadline that he had been released. Following Hutchins' death, directors, actors, and those in the industry paid tribute to the late cinematographer. It says she was an absolutely incredible talent and a great person. She had such an eye and a visual style. She was the kind of cinematographer. You wanted to see to see because you wanted to see what she could pull off nets. Wrote after Joe Angelango on Instagram. And she was a fantastic person. So far, no charges have been filed. The investigation into the incident remains ongoing. 
The film set has now been shut down with production and definitely pause. I believe that's going to be for a while, folks, to tell you the truth. I mean, think of this. If you're in an Alec Baldwin situation, how do you go back on set and hold not even a not even a just a prop gun? I mean, it's a prop gun. It went off. How does he mentally recover from that and want to do things like that anymore or act anymore for that reason? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that the person that ended up shooting and uh, killing Brandon Lee, I think he was out of the movies for years. It took many years for him to actually recover. OK. Quote, the entire cast and crew have been absolutely devastated by today's tragedy. And we send our deepest condolences to Helena's family and loved ones. Russ Movie Productions LLC said in a statement, We have halted production on the film for an undetermined period of time and are fully cooperating with the Santa Fe Police Department's investigation. We will be providing counseling services to everyone connected to the film as we work to process this awful event. So they were practicing a, in a scene I guess the cinematographer was in front of Alec Baldwin and I guess they were trying to rehearse a shot or whatever. And he actually pulled the trigger and she got shot in the stomach and the director was injured also. But Alec Baldwin did release a statement here. And he said, uh, I believe this is via Twitter. There are no words to convey my shock and sadness regarding the tragic accident that took the life of Helena Hutchins a wife, mother, and deeply admired colleague of ours, Baldwin said in a series of tweets. And man, this is going to be an everlasting image here of Alec Baldwin, because if you search Alec Baldwin right now, this is the image you get right here. I believe this is when he was actually, I think, leaving the police department or something like that. He has a mask in his left hand and he's on his phone. And you can tell he is devastated. Devastated. Uh, Baldwin does say here, I'm fully cooperating with the police investigation to address how this tragedy occurred. And I'm in touch with her husband, offering my support to him and his family. Baldwin said in a series of tweets from his account for the Hilaria and Alec Baldwin Foundation. This is just sad, man. My heart is broken for her husband, their son, and all who knew and loved Helena. Baldwin tweeted. Asking for your prayers tonight, friends. Uh, Baldwin's younger brother, Stephen Baldwin, posted on an Instagram Friday morning. Not much can be said other than please pray for all involved in the wake of this tragic incident. And that's another picture of Alec Baldwin right there. Man, this is just so sad, guys. Really, really sad. I don't know all the protocols that happen on set when it comes to uh, movies. I mean, we're at the point now to where you can really just, you know, CGI, everything, but you know, that's just more money and everything like that. I don't know the protocols for this, but this is absolutely tragic. I can't believe I'm making this video right now, but I'm making it because it actually really happened. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this Matrix and Roadshow fans? I wish I was coming to you with better news, but this happened, so I need to cover it. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the Matrix and Roadshow, and we'll catch you next time.